Good evening, and thank you to everyone who has joined us during this uh, thunderstorm warning and uh, tornado warning. Uh, this is the Alta Mesa Hewlin Wedgemont Winifred and Missy Water and Sewer Improvement Project Community Design Meeting. This project is in Council District 6. The construction may impact the Wedgwood Square Neighborhood Association and the Wedgwood East Neighborhood Association. Your project manager is Dina Johnson. She reached at 817-392-7866, or you can email dina.johnson at fortworthtexas.gov. And the link to the project page is also listed in the chat, and it will also be on the PowerPoint. This meeting is being recorded, and it will be posted to the project page uh, no later than 48 hours after the meeting. So I'm going to turn this over to Dina Johnson. Dina? We are having technical difficulties. Hang on just a second. Good evening, and thank you for joining us on this uh, community design meeting. We have an agenda we're going to be following. We start with introduction, project overview, <coughs> project area, frequently asked questions. Your design project team includes myself, I'm Dina Johnson, project manager. My telephone number 817-392-7866. Email dina.johnson at fortworthtexas.gov. Engineering Design Consultant is RLG. Brent Lewis is the Project Manager. Project Overview. Water and sanitary sewer mains will be replaced in an area bound by Winfrey Drive to the north, McCart Avenue to the east, Sycamore School Road to the south, and South Hewland Street to the west. These improvements are in Council District 6. Construction will, be, will impact the Wedgwood Square Neighborhood Association and the Wedgwood East Neighborhood Association. Project overview, we are having to replace sewer line in Alta Mesa Boulevard from Vega Drive to 820 feet to the west. We have water and sewer replacement in South Hewland Street from Wheelock Drive to Wilton Drive. And we have sewer replacement in an easement east of Wedgmont Circle from 115 feet east of the Winfred Drive at Wedgmont Circle intersection. 240 feet to the east. Another sewer replacement in an easement south of Winfred Drive from 150 feet east of the Wedgmont Circle at the Winfred intersection 240 feet east. Another sewer replacement uh, in the easement between 7021 South Misty Meadow Drive and 7025 South Misty Drive from Misty Meadow Drive to 150 feet east. Questions normally asked, why are you doing this project? Fort Worth to prioritize water and sewer line replacements based on available data, which includes the water main break history, leak history, CCTV closed circuit TV inspection. This is where we installed a camera into the pipe to tell us the condition of the pipe, edge of the line, line material, and whether there are lead service or cast iron water service lines. In this instant, the project was created because of the water cast iron pipe initiative the city of Fort Worth is implementing to reduce the amount of water main breaks, as well as the condition and age of the sanitary sewer lines in the area. 
will you need access to our property? This construction is in the public right of way and or in utility easements. If Fort Worth Water needs access to your property, we will contact you prior to the start of construction. Will our sewer service be disrupted? Sedentary sewer service will not be interrupted. A new sewer clean outs will be installed at the property line. The sewer clean out provides crews easy access if a backup or blockage occurs. The sewer line from the clean out to the house is the owner's responsibility to maintain. Will our water be turned off? Water will be turned off for 15 to 30 minutes when service is transferred from the existing line to a temporary water line and when the service is transferred from the temporary to the new line. These switchovers are done during the day. The contractor will knock on the door and let customers know when the water will be turned off. The transfer typically takes about 30 minutes per house or business. How does the temporary line impact my home and water bill? The temporary water line ensures that you are not without water during construction. In the summer months, the continuous flow keeps the water from becoming stagnant in the above ground line. The bill for your water usage while you are on the temporary line during the warmer months is based on the average of the previous month's usage. During the winter months, water must be continually flowing through the temporary line to keep the line from freezing. Customers should also keep their faucets dripping. If you see water running down the street, don't turn it off. Before we can connect your services to the new water line, the inspector has to take water samples. We call that flushing the line. The water flow from flushing the line will be continuous until the inspector gets the samples for the day. You will be connected to the new water main after two consecutive samples pass the bacteriological test. When it's time to sample the water flowing through the new water main, the contractor will place traffic cones around the valve to prevent anyone from parking over the valve. Don't move the cones, don't park over the cones, and don't turn off the water valve. What part of the sewer line are customers responsible for? The city side of the line starts at the main in the street and goes to the customer's sewer clean out. The customer side of the service line goes from the sewer clean out to the house and include the plumbing inside the house. Are we getting a new curb, gutter, and sidewalks? Existing curb gutter sidewalks and driveways will not be replaced except in certain circumstances, which includes those that are damaged by the contractor during construction. The contractor may need to remove and replace some curb and gutter and sidewalks to restore services. The contractor will also remove and replace driveway approaches that currently have water meters located and the approach that must be relocated. What happened if my property is damaged? The contractor will take pictures and video of the property before breaking ground. We also encourage the property owners to take pictures and video of their property before construction commences. Damage resulting from the contractor's activity during construction is responsibility of the contractor. Will the water and sewer construction affect my irrigation? The contractor has to cap irrigation lines before construction starts. The contractor will ask property owners to turn on their irrigation systems so the sprinkler heads can be located and flagged. The contractor will replace capped or damaged irrigation system. Are there restrictions on when we can water our lawns? Yes, requirements include no watering by irrigation systems or sprinklers between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. Watering by handheld hose, a drip irrigation or soaker hose is allowed at any time. Twice a week, irrigation system or sprinkler schedule will, with assigned days for all water customers. The schedule is like on Monday, no watering allowed. On Tuesday and Friday, 
non-residential sites such as apartment, businesses, parks, and common areas. On Wednesday and Saturday, residential addresses ending with even numbers. On Thursday and Sunday, residential addresses ending with odd numbers. Will there be lane closure during construction? Expect lane closure when the contractor is installing the water and sewer lines. Signs will be posted to alert motorists. The hour of construction are 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., Monday through Friday, and if requested by the contractor, 9 a.m. to 4 or 5 p.m. on Saturdays. Will the city's trash truck be able to pick up my trash and recycling during construction? If your side of the street is closed on your scheduled trash collection day, the contractor will take your trash and recycling carts to the opposite side of the street so the trash collection vehicle can pick it up. Timeline. This is a design meeting. The next steps include finalizing the design, advertising the project for bids, opening bids, city council approval to award the bid to the contractor, pre-construction meeting with the contractor and inspector, a community construction meeting to update those impacted by the project. Construction starts. Where can I get more information? Progress will be updated on the City of Fort Worth website, the link be below. And you can also go to www.fortworthtexas.gov and put the project number 102785-2 in the search bar on the home page. The link to this meeting video, the project map, and the project summary frequently asked questions will be linked to this project page. Contact. Again, I'm Dina Johnson, project manager. My telephone number 817-392-7866. My email address is dina.johnson at fortworthtexas.gov. How do I report an emergency or non-emergency? For emergencies, water main breaks, sewer backups, 24 hour a day, this number 817-392-4477, select option one. For non-emergencies, you can call the water call center from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, the phone number 817-392-4477, closed city holidays. Download the My F Fort Worth FW app from the App Store or Google Play, you can report sewer overflow, leaks and water main breaks, missing or broken meter bits, uh, water theft, water violation, no water service, water pressure issues, and other sewer concerns. With that, I want to thank you for listening. Okay, we don't have any questions in the chat. Uh, Doug, you get the award for coming to a meeting during a tornado warning, especially on the west side. Um, do you have any questions about the project? Frankly, the only real questions I have are what's how this might impact us as residents, how this might um, inconvenience us. Um, what, uh, what, what happens when, not if, because I fully expect this is going to happen. Um, we can't get into our driveways. There's like a you know, there's a truck in front of my driveway or a trench in front of my driveway that I can't get to my house at a convenient time. Dana? Yes. Um, normally if they if the contractor replacing your driveway, um, well, well normally will make all attempt for you to get in and out your driveway. But if in case your driveway will be replaced, they have to pour concrete and sometimes you cannot drive over the concrete. It will be a inconvenience sometimes. So you probably have to park somewhere beside the house or close by or across the street. But this is just if they dri if the, your driveway is being replaced. How is that going to be coordinated? Are they going to how how are they going to communicate with that that with us? Oh. Because one of the things I'll point out is that me in particular, I live on Hewlett Street. I live directly across the street from JT Stevens Elementary School. There's not really a convenient place to park around the corner for me. 
normally the inspector or the contractor will notify you. They'll contact you, they'll knock on your door, they'll make sure you are aware what's going on around your home. Okay, okay. Yeah, I I understand these things happen and 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 that's just that's just life. Uh the other question I have is we've already got some ongoing um uh, natural gas line work that's been going on since like last October in the neighborhood here. Um, how is how is this going to be coordinated with this this new sewer and water line work? We normally send the plans to utility clearance. I'm aware that they started to work. All the utilities started to work on on the area where we talked about today, and. Um, Normally, we do not go to work unless the, the utilities are clear and we will coordinate with them on a monthly basis to know which streets are working on before we even advertise the project. So we don't conflict to have two contractors working at the same time on, your, on the job. So the utilities has to clear first before we even go in and have our, our contractor working on the project. I understand. I understand. Um... I may have missed this at the first of this uh, this presentation. Um, is there an official start date for this work? Um, we, we we coordinate, as I said, with the utilities. We're planning on having uh, the construction start sometimes um, next fall, and we will keep you updated on the on the city website as how the progress is coming along. Right, Sally. Yes, we always do a, uh, we push out the projected end date each month if there's a change. And we'll also have another meeting, a uh, community construction meeting, and that will include the contractor, the inspector, Dina, and they should have a pretty good idea of what streets, what order the streets will go in. That sounds good to me. So next fall, but you don't have a more specific date than that? Not yet, no. Okay. Okay, I understand. That's really all the questions that I have. Um, and I know that there's there's a lot more to be developed as time goes on. So that's really all I have. Okay, thank you. Well, we appreciate you for being a trooper and, and coming to the meeting, Doug. Thank you. Well, as a, as a resident, and, and I do have some construction background myself. So, like I say, I understand. Mostly, I want to make sure that that I can answer my, the questions that my wife is going to be proposing to me because she couldn't get this meeting. So, you know how that goes too. Does anybody else have anything to add? No, but thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. Okay. Oh, what Doug? You probably missed this. Um, there's going to be a YouTube video link of this WebEx meeting on the project page. Um, Give us about 48 hours at the at the most, and we'll get that that up there. And we also do summary FAQs in English and Spanish. It's probably going to be um, second week in April before I can get the Spanish translation because my translator is out with surgery. But we will have the English um, version on that same project page. Very good. Okay. Well, thank you everybody for coming. Thank you.